Cristiano Ronaldo, nine phenomenal years in Madrid and now already playing his first official game for Juventus. All these years in Madrid he broke all kinds of records and left a huge mark in history of world football. Cristiano became irreplaceable for Los Blancos and the trophies that they won with his help will always remind about his incredible skills and professionalism. This is top 10 facts that will explain you why Ronaldo is the best player in history of Real Madrid. Let's go! Tenth place and his arrival at the club. In 2009, just like now, Ronaldo's transfer blew up all the media. Then Real Madrid paid 94 million dollars for his transfer, which was a record at the time. His presentation sold out the whole Santiago Bernabeu. Everyone wanted to see the beginning of the new chapter, the Cristiano Ronaldo epoch. I need a new chapter, a new challenge, said Ronaldo, but even back then not many expected results like that. His first goal for Madrid is scored in his first official game against Deportivo La Coruña. But that was just the beginning. If we didn't have to wait long for the first goal, it turned out to be a bit harder with the first trophy. It took him nearly two years and in the end he had to get it himself. In the season of 2010-2011, Madrid was playing in the final of Copa del Rey against their main rival, Barcelona. At the full time it was 0-0 and in additional time Cristiano scored the one and only goal to win the game. That tournament went great for him in general, 8 games, 7 goals and the best goal scorer of the tournament title. Since that day the trophy cabinet at the Bernabeu was only getting bigger. Ronaldo is one of the best when it comes to the derbies, even though many think otherwise. In the Madrid derby, he's the top goalscorer of all times with 18 goals. And in the Champions League, he would always help Atleti get knocked out. Just remember two finals and a semi-final the last four years. At least now Simeone has less headache about how to contain Ronaldo at least twice a year. In El Clasico though, it's not as great. Here Messi is a top goal scorer with a huge lead, but even here Cristiano managed to become the best. He's the first player that managed to score six derby games in a row, just think about it. And you still think that in a big game Ronaldo isn't himself. Cristiano is the best, not just his scores the most important goals, but also because he never loses his concentration even against the weaker opponents. Scoring 4 or even 5 against the underdogs, he became the best goal scorer in history for Real Madrid. Having played 438 official games for Madrid, he scores 450 goals. 450! That's at least a goal per game. In Champions League he has 105 goals for Madrid and is far ahead of Raul for a long time now. In Champions League, Cristiano is the top goal scorer not just in Madrid but in the whole world. Messi is the runner-up but he's about 20 goals behind and it doesn't seem like he's gonna catch up. Ronaldo is also a record holder for the most goals scored in one Champions League season. In the season of 2013-14, he scored an impressive 17 goals. In group stages he scored 9 and just in one game he didn't have a chance to use his famous celebration. And in the finals he finished it off and set a record that's gonna last for a long time. Also, he's the only footballer that managed to score in all six group stage games and the only one that scored in three finals. He spoiled his stats a bit this year though. And his main record in this tournament is a record of number of goals scored to one team Juventus. So they probably just got tired of conceding from him so they decided to buy him instead. Cristiano is not just the most successful man in football, but in everything else as well. His phone is always busy because all of the calls from the marketing people, as he earns hundreds of thousands even when he's asleep. Lifelong contract with Nike is already something. Ronaldo is the third player in history that was able to have a contract like that. And his social networks are always on point. On aggregate, he's long been the leader among the footballers in terms of the number of followers. Messi is not even the second. The media exposure very much helps the player. As soon as it was announced that Ronaldo is moving to Juve, his shirts started to sell in a speed of light, and the number of Juve subscribers on social media is growing at an incredible speed as well. But the hat-tricks are just his thing. He's the record holder for scoring hat-tricks in La Liga. 32 times Ronaldo has put 3 goals on his account. He also holds the record for the largest number of hat-tricks scored in a single season, although here Messi shares the record with him. They both got 8. And obviously he's the best in Madrid on hat-tricks as well. In total he's got 38 of them. Lots of goals in a game is literally his fetish. 
The most important individual trophy for any player is of course the Ballon d'Or. The first time Ronaldo got it, he was still at Manchester United, but then after his transfer to Real Madrid, Messi four years in a row outperformed the hero of this top. But this just made Cristiano angry, and for the last five years he won it four times and now they both have five. Real Madrid certainly made Cristiano stronger, his trophies helped him to become the best in the world and even after his transfer to Juve it's very likely that Ronaldo will take the 6th golden ball and finally be ahead of Messi in this eternal battle. Without Ronaldo there would be no Messi and without Messi no Ronaldo. Two of the greatest players of all times year after year try to decide which one of them is better so they both got better. In vain many people think that we're enemies, it's not true, it's a lie, Ronaldo said once. And it's true, watching the game of these two geniuses, we saw both how each one of them wanted to prove that he was better than the other. The last 10 years, these two were better than anyone. At least twice a season they met and fought on the field and now let's admit, we all miss those El Clasicos. If I had to choose only one title, the Champions League would be it, Ronaldo said once. Cristiano led Real Madrid to victory in the Champions League for five years and in the best season for themselves they finally made it. Ramos incredible rescue in the last seconds and here's a long awaited trophy. A year later Real Madrid fights for the cup and it's Atleti again. And again it's Ronaldo who puts an end to the final. The next year they kill Juve and it seems like that's it, it cannot get any better. After all no one in modern history has won the Champions League two times in a row. But Zidane's team thought otherwise and this year they rewritten the history of the European football again. Four titles in five years doesn't get any better than that, does it? And every trophy thanks to Ronaldo. Yes, he didn't score in the final, but who made all the Juve fans applaud to the opponent and how symbolic that Ronaldo goes there to finish his career now. And yet the Madrid era came to an end. For several years now Cristiano Ronaldo was gonna leave. And the time has finally come. Real Madrid learns to live and play without Zidane and Ronaldo. And how great that these two left at their peak. Let's hope that Ronaldo is in Juventus to actually play and not just for the money. But there's no doubt that he'll win at least a dozen of trophies being a part of the main Italian club.